The guys are over there on the silver maple and they're claiming that the Vermeer chipper isn't working. Oh. We're giving them our chipper and then we're gonna have to improvise. Oh! Holy mackerel! What a day. Maybe my nerves are high. Because we're going to drop cut this. All right, I'll make break cuts here. I'm going to throw them out in the snow. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Sometimes. We used to have a guy here. Oh. 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 Casualty. Not the line, but I got the neighbors. That was like a Jedi reflex there, I'm just saying. I was gonna tag the line with that. All right, let's bring this down slower than I did that other one. Pull it off of there. Whenever you break something, guys, it's always an opportunity. You just, you just, you just make the client happy that you broke it. We're gonna rig, rig that little branch so we don't wreck their little ornamental trees because I planted those trees in the corner there. <laughs> okay, I'm doing that folks so that I can't swing back into the pouch. I could take my hand off. Um, just some... Come on. Stop messing with me. There we go. All right, pull it up tight. Uh, yeah, probably. Pull it up tight. I don't feel that it's tight. 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 Pull. It's a redirect up there. That's where it's gonna go. I just don't want it swinging around by the power. There we tag the power. Look, hang on, hang on, hang on. Pull it up. And pull it up. Come on, toughy. Coming at you, Preston. Pull it up higher. This ended up being wider than I wanted it to be. Coming at you over there. Why don't I just do this? Bring her down. All right. I was uh, taking down a honey locust once and the neighbor was all uptight about it. He told me, don't you wreck my raspberries. Raspberries, mind you. The raspberries will never come back. And uh, 
I made a rig and it, it went down, it, it swept the top of the raspberries. And he came out and was, was just jacking around and he's coming under my, my work zone. And it was his yard, but like he was demanding that the tree come down. You know, like so he was saying the neighbor had to take tree down and now he's yelling. And, and I, uh, I finally, I, I, I yelled at him. I said, look, someone dies every three days. Do you hear what I'm saying? Someone dies every three days and you're rattling me right now so that my mind isn't on my work and somebody's going to get hurt. It's going to be your fault. Now get out of my work zone. I don't care if it's your yard. It's my work zone. And he, 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 oh yeah, that's a good point. And he, and he backed off. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I pull that line out every once in a while when somebody's making some big deal over nothing. And I said, do you realize someone dies in this industry every three days? And I got a wife at home that wants to see me for supper tonight. And you're worried about your flowers? Yeah, but you know, I don't get mean like that, but I don't have to. Okay, hold it high. <clears throat> and my my pet, I, it was the, it was the angry neighbor just saying it. Yeah, he called her and told her, "Hey, his outriggers on your property." Literally, half the outrigger pad was on their property, and uh, yeah, please. And so we, I ended up moving it, you know, to the driveway. Yeah, I know it. It's like act of God tears the tree apart and I'm worried about your outrigger on my pad, on my, on my, on my grass. And, and he, he didn't even say arborist. He said arborist or something like that. Yeah, listen to the video. He says, yeah, Arbonist or whatever you call yourselves. That's a garden right there, though. We had a guy complaining about the, the guy up in Montello, his ground guy, 
grounds guy says we tore up the yard. It was zero degrees on the day we were there. I, w I wasn't there. Yeah, Friday. It's like, tore up the yard. Mercy. I, I'm pretty sure not. Might have messed up the snow. The mistake we made is we didn't we didn't make a follow-up call and say we're coming back on Wednesday. Right, I know we didn't even think of it, but the the care the caretaker comes by, says, "Man, they looks like they're done, but they left all this stuff all over the ground." Oh, the purists don't like it when you burn a fire on the lake. You're putting potash in the. Feels like a turn around. Yeah, we can lift a tall one. It's the famous scene. Want a tagline on that? That's what you say. Yeah, I told Jacob, I said, you know, the rule in the game of trees here is if, if you're in a tree and I'm in a tree, we're racing. He goes, well, am, am I racing you or am I racing Taylor? I said, well, you guys are welcome to have your own little gig over here, but I'm racing both of you. Uh, we, yeah, we got more, so. All right, you got, do you have tension? cut my notch right at that stuff. That stuff is going to be my How come you let me do that? Mercy. Oh. This is really going to be a short one now. What there's th what what are you three doing down there besides holding the rope away from me? I tell you, what? Why I oughta? At least we got an old rope here. No, because it's not under load. Pull on it. Pull on it.
I told you to hold it. Oh, Jake's gonna put that part in the video. You know, when when his friend Kevin started the 395 uh, and dipped dipped the tip into the ground, he put that on the video. He he was kind of drop starting it and then went run right into the ground. <laughs> And when somebody put put a uh, oh, thanks for the slippery sheet pen, Mark. And now and now it's like inside my rope because because of that. Mercy, this is like an entertainment video. The four four stooges in arboriculture. All right, when I tie this on there and I go to finish my notch, somebody's going to walk this rope out to the loader where it's supposed to go. <sighs> Man, we got, we've got like a blooper reel on this thing. We could just, we could cut all this out and then right at the end, we just put it in the blooper reel. Thank you very much. complain about that that was a perfect tug that was a perfect tug Terry yeah I was a little high on the hinge but you know it broke off of there nice and we landed like flat on that log gotta be happy about that that was a nice finish for a blooper day we ain't done yet no we gotta put this log yeah, let's do that.
a big pull. Except for that, except for that part right there. Yeah. Well, we got to cut a foot off. We were a little thick. Oh yeah. It's so uh, yeah, so I we'll have to cut a foot off. Well, we'll measure. We'll measure from here. Just measure from. We'll measure from that end. Let's see how long it is total before you cut anything. So now the next lecture I'm going to have to give is make a narrow hinge on walnut, please. Trim from that side till we get clean. No, no, we're going to get two. There will be two. I just had to find out if we had enough to cut that off from that end. Which we do. Yeah, so basically the flare anyways. Foot six, right here, right at the bend. Hold it! We're off the ground. Cut! It's gonna, it's gonna crash. No, no, this end is off the ground. I, I know what I'm doing. I've done it before. Yeah, it just needs a little wedge. There you go. Now you're good to go. Right there, we're gonna keep the pattern. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. One shot, one kill. They must have known it was the end of the day. Don't mess with the game of trees at the end of the day. Of course, it does often mess with us at the end of the day. That's why I'm not climbing over that jagged part of the fence over there. All right, gotta go get this hung limb. Sugar maple. That's a sugar maple. I took my hands off so I can't dice this up. There was a horn. Somebody beeped. 
Oh, it's Justin. So have we won or lost? You guys definitely lost. If this tree's still come down. That tree's all no, down. No, no, that tree's down. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong tree. We got a hanger. We got a hanger. Oh, I don't know, Kevin. Maybe you guys did win, because that tree, well, that tree's been down for about 15 minutes. Over there? Yeah. It's going to come down to the wire. They're going to have to judge the videos. <laughs> hey, I've got a... I moved a branch off of the fence too, so if anyone says I don't do nothing but stand around. Wow. So no one can say no one can say you just run the camera. It was a sized branch. It was like, I don't know, what is that, two inch diameter, but it was long, Yeah, it was long. So they you know, they had an advantage. That'd be Justin. Yeah. And they took our chipper. Yeah. Plus they had me there for moral support. You guys didn't even have me there too. Yeah. I tried to drive what is going on here? That's crazy. Oh, man. Okay. Well, I'm out. I'll see you in the morning. All right. Flimsy little maple. Got our power lines right over there. All right. Make sure I'm not bumping anything into there. Gonna shake this bad boy out of the tree before I get up there. <clears throat> Are they claiming victory? Did they, did they, oh, are you claiming victory? Yeah, you stole our chipper. Well, we're, uh, you know, I don't know. It was pretty close then, actually. <clears throat> All right. Don't forget to get it out.
like crazy. It was almost like the fence wasn't even an issue. Yeah. They were just really on top of it. What'd you do? You cut down the wrong tree. It was supposed y to be yeah. <laughs> What's the most expensive well, tree? News, one. The one that wasn't supposed to be cut down. Big chip truck? Okay, got it. God, Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, that thing is huge. Yeah, I'm glad you had fun with it. I had a ton of fun. I don't often get to get, get like sideways on my climbing line, you know, rigging stuff out. Right. Know? It's a lot of fun. It's it's really interesting. It's, it's a lot more to think about when you have... I mean, we had a lot of ropes in that tree. <laughs> right. you know, we were both using tag lines. Right. And we had it. We did the the, the redirects and the fishing line, you know. Yeah. Like, it was so it, there was a lot of a lot stuff going in that on. Tree. So we had a great day. Uh, these guys over here uh, worked really well together and uh, got this monster down. And and ours went pretty smooth over there with the walnut. And we have some casualties with some equipment. Our, our big chipper went down, so we had to. Uh, we got the other chipper over at our job, chipping that up. So, kind of adjusting, and as we go, uh, and our, our grapple broke for our our Vermeer uh, mini loader. So we've got two pieces remaining that are supposed to go in there. Um, maybe we can toss them on a trailer, but. Uh, yeah, it's a game of trees. We're having fun. And uh, really great working with Jacob. Killed the trees and take care. See you next time.